All right, we're back. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this from this picture. Since this looks curved, we're just going to extend the tube all the way down with a small base. Uh, what I figured out is it'll be about 18 centimeters tall. So uh, what I'm just going to do is uh, measure from a starting point, kind of guesstimate here. So we're going to need eh, about 23 centimeters. This will be 23 by 18, hopefully. We'll just go ahead and use this. Sound like I got a young one coming. Let's see, 23 by 18. Let's go ahead and mark that off real quick. 23. Yep, there's a young one floating there somewhere. And dogs, they have a bunch of dogs out there. So. And, and something just shipped from eBay. The, what I do is I don't measure, I just kind of guesstimate for these patterns. I'll go back and. Uh, it's actually a little off. Let's see. Make sure you mark everything, just to be case. Nowhere near. Oh, I messed up. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's waste paper. All right. Well, back to the drawing board. Well, let's go ahead and just save myself some aggravation and make it 30. Yeah. 30 by 18. Huh. I don't know if y'all can see me, but I have headphones on. It's kind of, it's kind of funny that, uh, on Pandora, Cthulhu Dome by Cradle of Filth is playing. I thought that was, that's kind of funny. Everybody loves Cthulhu. He's become the hip thing to like nowadays. What you do? Just say, look. Oh, yeah, everybody knows Cthulhu. Oh, he likes a thought. All right, here we go again. Let's try this. I wonder if dogs in the background of my video is the equivalent of having lawnmowers on a black metal album. I need more lawnmowers on my black metal album. try to make all these things. I'm gonna try to make all of these uh, 
parts before I put Harvey in there permanently. Of course, then again, I'm, thanks to the horrifying tales of the United States Post Office, I think I'm going to see if I can pack these things, pack this thing in separate. We have individual components and have Doomcock assemble when he gets them in Xanadu. Ah, before I get started, I don't know if y'all can see these ridges going this way. They're running long ways. That's actually wrong. What I'm going to do is take the cardboard and curl it up or bend it. And this is actually the wrong way. That's against the grain in woodworking terms. So I'm glad I caught that because that would have been a mess. Or not necessarily a mess, but it would have been aggravating. Let's try this again. Yeah, when if you, if you do this, if you try this, always when you have to bend the cardboard, you want to go with those little flutes. You don't want to go against them. Makes things a lot easier. Sounds a lot easier. Get the idea. So let's go ahead. All right, I'm going to pause this just a second. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, Lord, it ain't nothing worse living in South Carolina than in the uh, community. Uh, well, dude. You watch any of my other videos, you know, with the grain you pull, you just go ahead and pull the, uh, find you a nice corner and pull. And then you can just basically squeeze it with your hands. Roll it up like a big old fat blunt. And roll. And what I'm going to do here, just going to kind of hold it. I'm just going to kind of roll that thing up, hold it. And you got a little overlap, which is what you want. What you do though, you mark it here. And since these straight lines anyway. Right there, down that. The reason I pause, there's gonna find a knife. Cut lightly. You don't want to cut through the entire piece of cardboard, you just want to just want to cut half of it. Well, don't have well, don't have again. Well, those things ain't be cooperative at all. What you're wanting, you're just wanting to tear this off. Of course it didn't work. There it is. What you're wanting to do is tear this, cut it, you want this one layer of cardboard. Uh, Cut it like this and cut it with scissors and cuss at it. Of 
What you want to do is you're wanting this to get out of the way so you can turn around and fold it like this where it meets here. You glue this here, then you just lay it over and it's smooth. Sometimes it'll work where you won't even have to put a piece of tape on it to keep that smoothness. That's going to be, well, I know it ain't all the way yet, but that's basically going to be looking like this. It's going to be the base. It's going to be the base. Now we're going to make a little square part at the bottom to actually do that. And I measured a while ago. We're going to go ahead and see if we can make this a, make this a nine. Make us a nine by nine block for the top. Most people mark it, I just draw a line. And at the bottom here, you can line it up if it's nine. If your line matches to the edge nine, you have a nine by nine block. I'm thinking you have to look and I'm either gonna make a, a dollop from Doctor Who, which I actually have three quarters of a dollop already made. I'll sh I, if I decide to do that I'll show that in the video, but I'm thinking about just going a little bit insane. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a King Ghidorah from the Godzilla uh, series. I got to looking at I've been looking at that the last couple days and I do I do like me some Godzilla. Now there's a I seen a someone that actually made a cardboard Godzilla on the internet way before I done this and because I was looking at it one day. I found it just as a kind of a joke, and I, I was like, some mind-blowing mind deal. Uh, I'll see if I can find a link and post a link to that Godzilla in, in, in the King of Dora video. If, if that's what I decided to do, I still hadn't made up my mind. But uh, that, that thing was mind-blowing. keep forgetting that's why you use the pattern so you don't have to go back and mess something up but yeah it's uh yeah that uh that thing was just amazing and i really don't understand why i'm using these scissors Whew. big old nancy did spider Let's see. Yeah, I really don't understand why I was using scissors since this is what I went and got the regular lathe for. Alright, I'll do the top and the bottom. This is actually, well, it's actually going to sit in here like this, like this, and this is just going to sit like this. Make a little box. Ooh, nasty corpse. Aww, got her top and her bottom. And let's see, this is gonna do well. That don't look right. Oh, of course not. Oh well. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and get us 
Let's see. Think about five will do it. So we'll just let's see if you do this. Always mark your patterns so you don't end up making a mess. Uh, let's see. Five looks pretty good. Some standard base. pattern for all my woodwork. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, when I come back, I'll have the tubular. I'll have the containment center all about done. I'll just, I'll get everything done, but I'll assemble the base. All right, see you next time.